Actually, one of the first emulators I made a video on was Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. And actually, that guide is pretty much up to date, even till this day. Of course, there are many more changes under the hood, and there are some setup changes. And we are going to cover all of those in this video. So first, what you need to do is head over to Xenia.jp. And here in the download section, you can get the master build. This is one of two builds, the other build is Canary, and I'm going to cover that in just a second. So click save, and the next step is Xenia Canary. For this, we got a GitHub page right here. You can go to releases, and here get the latest release, and here the zip file. Again, click save, and it will download. Now there are, now there are a few other things I do want to mention. Right here we got quick start and it will open up a GitHub page and here's a lot of useful information. For the system requirements, here is a recommended system and pretty much this is the same as I would recommend to run any game on it. For the OS, a Windows 10 64 bit. For the CPU, a modern CPU with AVX2 support and most do this except for Pentiums these days. And for the GPU, I think the 980 Ti is a bit on the higher side, but a fast GPU definitely helps. For the RAM, I would say about 8GB or more. And you do need Microsoft C++, so make sure to click this link. And if you don't already, download it and install it. For the next step, we are going to go to the wiki. And here's actually a lot of useful information. So first of all, if you want to rip games, Click this link and here's a great guide on how to dump the games. Next, for the frequently asked questions, you can see them here. And the thing we are curious about are the options and the compatibility list. First, go into options. And right here are all the options you could change. Of course, there are many more, but these are the major ones. The game language can be very useful. You And there are a lot of GPU things you need to change. Again, the major ones I do want to mention while setting up the emulator. But you should really give it a look. And if you're using Canary, just click the options right here. And you can see everything right here. So now let's open them up. So show it in the folder. And here we got master and Canary. Right click it and extract it to a folder. Once this is done, you have either of these folders and the setup is mostly the same. So simply open up one and here is an optional step and this depends on how you want to use it. You can right click it, make a new file and a text document and call it portable. Right now, if we open up Xenia Canary, there will be a folder right here called contents and also the config file will be right here. If we do not use this portable file, the Xenia config files will be found in documents and then in Xenia. Again, this is totally up to you what you prefer. For me, I'm going to use the portable file because it is a bit cleaner and I don't want to clutter up my documents folder. Um, but it's really up to you and both work just fine. So now actually Xenia is opened up and whatever version you use, it is pretty much good to go for most systems. Simply click file, open, here open Halo 4. And if you open it up, you are good to go and most games will run. But of course we want the best experience possible and we are going to dive deeper into the settings. So of course first make sure you got the latest GPU drivers. And if you do we can dive into the config file. So Xenia doesn't have any UI for this so we gotta change them right in here. And there are some settings you might need. Most of these are explained in the comments right here. And in the background, you can see which you could change. And again, that's up to you for most. So first of all, if you're going to use any live arcade games, you can change this to one and that could enable them. For most disc games, just leave it at zero. And I'm going to try out Halo 4. So mine is still at zero. Now the next step is pretty important. If you're using an AMD or Intel GPU, you might need to change the ROV setting to false, as it says right here in the background. This does disable one feature which we're going to cover in just a second.
but it is just better to leave it at false for AMD and Intel GPUs. For Nvidia, you are good to go to put it at true. And right here is a pretty neat feature, which is the resolution scale. This only supports one and two right now, but if you got an Nvidia GPU which supports ROV, you can set this to two and it will render the game at twice the resolution, which is a pretty nice bump. So if you just leave it at one, it will display at 720p, which still is pretty fine. Next, if we scroll down, we can see VSync right here, and this can be true or false. Putting this to false might uncap some games, so you have unlimited FPS if your PC supports it, but it doesn't work on all, and for me, I'm just going to give it at true. Here are some quick general settings, so it can check for updates on GitHub. Uh, debug should be at false for most users, unless you are a developer. Um, Discord rich presence could be enabled and disabled right here. That is totally up to you. And here for the hit, here is the input settings. So you can use any and then Xbox controllers work just fine. WinKey is for keyboard control and SDL is for non Xbox controllers. I do recommend however for stuff like a PlayStation 4 uh, controller to use DS4 Windows to make it an X input controller so you can use just use the default. So for all the other stuff, you could change it and it might increase or decrease your experience. For most, I just recommend to leave them at the default and check all the settings right here, which you could change. For me, I'm going to save this and quit it. And if we open up Xenia Canary again or Master, you are pretty much good to go. You can go to file and even open your recents and then open your game. Of course, double click it. Of course, you can make the window bigger and it should be a bit better. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, make sure to let me know by dropping the like down below. Also subscribe for more emulation content and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.